I love guns. Fake guns specifically. The weirder and sillier, the better. Some of my favorites from movies are Jane from Firefly's ridiculous Sega shotgun. A Callahan full bore auto lock. He calls it Vera. Han Solo's modified Charter Arms Bulldog Revolver that he uses to retire replicants, the Steyr P. Flanger Kitsumata Series D Blaster, sometimes called the LAPD 2019. Damn, that blaster is classy. And of course, a Deckard's sci-fi modified broom handle Mauser, the Blastech Industries DL-44 Heavy Blaster Pistol, which famously put an end to the bounty hunter Greedo and dozens of stormtroopers. It's probably my favorite movie gun of all time. I love sci-fi weapons, and that is one of the reasons I love Warhammer 40k. It's absolutely packed with weapons that are so awesome, they are downright silly. So let's get into five of my very favorite guns from Warhammer 40k. Starting off with number one, the Orc Def Gun. The Def Gun, I hear you say. What's so cool about the Def Gun? Well, it's probably the most orky of all their weapons. It's a ramshackle collection of stolen guns all welded together. It barely looks like a gun. It has a roll cage so the orcs can carry it. To quote from the sacred texts, Ludas usually persuade their mech boy comrades to build them one of the impressive shoulder mounted weapons known as the Def Gun. Each Def Gun is a fine example of the mech's craft, cobbling together from heavy weapons the Luda himself has managed to salvage from the battlefield. The mech will make a series of adjustments to the weapon during its construction, ranging from additional viewfinders and recoil compensators to cutting the weapon to pieces and rebuilding it from scratch. Mech boys often accompany the Luda mates into battle, the better to see their creations in action. The exact nature and function of the Def Gun is always a bit of a lottery, but two things are always certain. It will deafen the owner and spell a violent death to anyone in its crosshairs. Def Guns are perhaps louder than they are dangerous, and they are very, very dangerous. The Ludas don't treat their Def Guns like equipment. They are art. Violent, deadly art. Art is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination. The Def Gun is orc art. Expression through destruction. Next up, the Plasma Pistol. This might seem like another boring choice, but it's not. Because it's not just a magical laser gun, it's a plasma gun. To quote, The plasma gun fires energy shells of bright glowing plasma. When a plasma shell hits, tremendous heat and energy are released, destroying the target in an almighty explosion. A target hit by a plasma shell suffers the dual effects of searing heat and explosive shock as its substance is instantly energized into boiling plasma. Plasma guns are sometimes called sun guns because they shoot the sun. They don't burn you or melt you, it instantly pushes your matter past the liquid, solid, and gas states into the plasma state. A literal star appears on the battlefield. It's not just an explosion that hits you. You are the explosion. It's hilariously OP. Plasma guns are one of the best things in 40k. Next up, the Needler Pistol. No, not that Needler Pistol from Halo, although that is also a sweet gun. This one harkens back to the days of Rogue Trader and can still be seen in the hives of Necromunda and carried by the higher-ups in the Genestealer cults. It's also really, really weird. To quote, The Needle Rifle is a sniper weapon used by the Space Marines, Eldar Scout, and Rattling Snipers of the Imperial Guard. The rifle fires small darts made from a deadly neurotoxic chemical. The liquid chemical is frozen into a dart or sliver by the gun before it's fired. A nearing accuracy is afforded by a low power beam of invisible laser light. What? Which drives and guides the chemical dart into its target. If the target is armored, the beam automatically pulses when the rifle is fired, punching a tiny hole which allows the toxin dart to penetrate. So, it's basically a reverse vape pen. With one trigger pull, a bit of neurotoxin is squeezed out and frozen into a needle. While that is happening, a laser beam shoots out and cuts a tiny hole in the target, and then the needle travels on a beam of light through the air into the target. And of course, 40k is so extra. Neurotoxin is not the fastest way to kill someone, but in 40k, it's so incredibly deadly that it will end you instantly. It's a completely preposterous weapon, and that's why I love it. Next up, the Dark Eldar Hex Rifle. It shoots out vials of poison and looks really spiffy. I've undersold it. To quote, The long-barreled hex rifle fires crystal cylinders that each contain a tiny amount of the glass plague that assailed the Dark City in M36. On contact with bare flesh, the hex rifle's arcane payload spreads quickly, turning its victim into a transparent statue, with an expression of shock etched upon its visage forevermore. It shoots out vials of plague, the same plague that killed off a Dark Eldar city. 
they scooped it up and turned it into a weapon. And this plague turns its victims into glass. Instantly, it turns you into glass. Imagine a little vial smashes next to you and your compatriots and instantly you are turned to glass. If that is not the greatest thing ever, I don't know what is. After that, we have the Eons of Battle Patreon. Yes, the most deadly weapon of them all. Over there, we have lots of high quality terrain STLs available and it is the best way to support us making videos. In addition to great grim dark terrain, you'll also gain access to one exclusive video a week, voting alt models I paint live here on YouTube, a weekly hobby hangout, and more. Another great way to support us is by checking out our merch. You can follow the link in the description below to our shirts and sweatshirts with some fun hobby related designs. And finally, the Necron Synaptic Disintegrator. You might think, Disintegrator, okay, it turns the target to dust. Nope, you would be wrong. To quote, unfortunately this one's a little short. The Synaptic Disintegrator. This rifle fires a compressed leptonic, so subatomic beam that destroys synaptic tissue. Only in 40K is disintegration boring. This gun shoots a bullet smaller than an atom that disintegrates the synaptic tissue in a target. So instantly you don't have a nervous system anymore. Your brain would be mush and the cause of death would be completely undiagnosable. It's basically a vada cadavra. You are just dead. Super dead. Instantly. The death marks are called snipers, but it certainly seems a lot more like they're assassins to me. I had so much fun making this video. It's always a great time when I get to go through my codexes and read all the silly parts of the lore. Please let me know in the comments below if you would like more of this type of video and what are some of your favorite guns from 40k. Bye bye.